I'm Rachel Smolkin with Politico and welcome to this week's edition of Turn the Table, where we turn the table on Sunday show hosts. In this week's news, Anthony Weiner's surreal news conference along with his wife, Huma Abedin, and President Obama's big economic speech, major moment or retread. Joining us now to talk about that and more is CNN's Candy Crowley and CBS's Nancy Cordes. Candy, we have a story on our site up now about Anthony Weiner called Why Weiner Won't Win. What is your take on all the events of this week and his chances at this point? I don't think his chances were that great to begin with. I know that he was, uh, you know, ahead in these polls, but he's in a big field. He's a guy with name recognition for better or for worse. I, there's some new polling out now showing that he's dropped a second, but even that, I don't believe a. Uh, it's July. <laughs> Uh, this primary is going to take place in mid-September. I don't think most people in New York are paying that much attention. And I, I think the other thing is, you know, obviously if there were any uh, people sitting on the fence, this probably drove them the other direction. So if you start out a race where half of the folks won't even look at you, uh, you, and there are four or five others in the race, that is a huge disadvantage. He has made his disadvantages bigger, but I thought his disadvantages were enough that he wasn't going to win. What may happen, perhaps he might have made it into a runoff. I, you know, I, I think perhaps he has lessened his chances of making it into a runoff. And that's exactly what the story on our site argues. Uh, so perfect agreement right. there. Oh, what did, yeah. what did you, yeah, exactly, it's unanimity there. Uh, what about Huma's role this week? Huma Abedin, his wife, very striking uh, moment for her at that news conference. It is, and obviously nothing was revealed that she didn't know. One of the things I learned a long time ago was people's marriages are their marriages. She's not the politician, she's the wife. Is she? politically astute. She is. I know nothing about what she wants in the future, uh, but I do know that marriages and what makes them tick are up to those two individuals. So I tend to sort of steer away from the spouse, be it the, the male or the female. Well, the Anthony Weiner news really overshadowed the other big story of the week. That was President Obama's economic speech. Some partisan divide there about big moment versus retread. What did you make of that speech? Well, uh, there were certainly a lot of Republicans on Capitol Hill who were waiting to pounce on whatever the president proposed in these speeches. So far, though, uh, the response has been uh, sort of a collective, huh, you know, because they don't feel that he has put forth much in the way of substance yet uh, that they can really sink their teeth into either positively or negatively. Now, the president has said he's going to be making a series of speeches and that he will roll out some of the uh, substance as the weeks go on. Uh, but Republicans essentially have been saying, and the leader of the Senate, of the Senate Republicans rather, uh, Mitch McConnell said directly, you know, we over here kind of give a collective eye roll at this point when the president pivots to jobs, uh, particularly because they feel that this is something that he does uh, when there's something that he wants to draw attention away from or when he's looking to sort of fill the space. Uh, so in their defense, uh, you know, he hasn't said much of substance yet, uh, nothing new. In his defense, the White House would say, look, we never pivoted away from jobs in the economy, but we want to bring a focus back to it right now. That's it for this week's edition of Turn the Table. As always, thanks for joining us.